Glad we figured out what we do not like to do. We're in the middle of the ICW right now and the engine just died. Okay, figured out, figured out the problem. <laughs> it is a rough ride today. Us motor in the thing sailing. Well, we have arrived. of Indian Town was a bit surreal. Even though it had been six months since we were on the water, it felt as though no time had passed. Soon we were going past all the same places on the ICW, only this time in reverse. Okay, made it to uh, our first anchor we went under like five bridges with inches that was pretty nerve-wracking uh first day out is always a little intense uh but everything worked out pretty good ended up being a really nice night great way to end the evening We're in the middle of the ICW right now and the engine just died. We've never had this issue before. So we're just kind of drifting a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the channel here and then we're gonna throw on the anchor and try to figure out what the heck is going on. Probably just a fuel issue. I mean, we just changed the filters and so we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that stuff and try priming it a little bit and then uh, I don't know. Well, Chris is throwing the anchor down quick. And uh, I'm gonna get into the engine and see what's going on. I'm really just assuming it's a fuel issue. Um, this is revving a little bit and uh, we'll make appropriate calls if we need to, but I'm gonna see if I can figure this one out on my own and before we deal with, uh, before we take the next steps. So I'm checking. <clears throat> Well, first to make sure to run out of gas. Uh, okay, figured out, figured out the problem. <laughs> I ran out of gas. <laughs> Dude. Uh, step one, step one. <laughs> and I told him to check the fuel. That's so funny. I really honestly thought we left the tank almost full. Well, this is, this is a great lesson to learn. I'm making sure that it's diesel. Yeah, yeah. You're saying gas. You're saying um, you're gonna put gas in the tank. No, no. Yeah, no, diesel. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. I'll, well, we're gonna address this problem, and I'll let you know if we get it started back up. So the good thing about running out of fuel is we're at the very bottom of the tank, and you can see the sludge that um, builds up over time. So check this out. so dumb right now I like really feel dumb but at least that didn't uh, wasn't anything serious I didn't think it was but I also didn't think that we ran out of gas all right we're underway again Woo. always fun always fun on the wind boat
got to Lake Worth today, or yesterday, we got in last night, anchored, and uh, uh, I think we're just missing our window. So I think what we're gonna do is hang out here uh, around Lake Worth uh, in a week. Uh, hopefully we'll get some sort of window, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be much opening up in the next seven days. So that's a real bummer because we, uh, we really wanted to try to make it over, but I think we're just playing the, the better bet here. But that's how sailing goes. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, this time of year, the weather windows are few and far between, so you gotta make them work, and we just weren't quite prepared. Uh, and the weather just closed up. It's a very short window, and it really doesn't give us the option to do much else besides just cross. So that's it. Well, we decided after all of this that we're going to end up crossing tomorrow. It's about 10 a.m., 10 p.m., and our buddy boats wanted to go and the weather turned um, in our favor for tomorrow um, Thursday and Friday still look pretty nasty so we'll hold up at the West End Thursday and Friday we're about to crash get some rest all the boats all set ready to go and uh, yeah always a little nervous before crossing but tomorrow looks really nice so we should have a really a decent day and all bets are off Thursday and Friday okay Signing off till the morning. It is a rough ride today. Definitely rougher than we anticipated and it's not super comfortable. It's probably the roughest seas we've been in on the open water, so you know, getting used to that's a whole other scenario. We did consider turning back uh, and we decided not to. But yeah, so we're just uh, underway. We're not quite halfway. We're just crossing the Gulf Stream right now. Woo -wee. Yeah, baby. This is, uh, well, this is motoring. This ain't sailing. Yeah, it's been like uh, 10 hours of this. Uh, the other boats are a little uh, are a little uncomfortable too. We've been keeping in good radio contact. We're the lead boat. We're ahead. Uh, we're about uh, 15 miles out, and uh, couldn't be happier to get in. This is a little crazy. This is definitely the craziest we've been out so far. Uh, it was supposed to be one to two foot waves or two foot waves, and these are five foot waves with a short interval. A bunch of stuff's been flying all over the boat. Uh, some stuff broke, Lily's not happy, so, you know, this last two hour stretch is going to be the longest. Man! Woo! That was wild. That was a wild ride today. 12 hours, what was it, probably 17 to 22 knots all day, on the nose five foot waves, three to four second intervals, all day, all day, no rest. But we got in and everything's good, so we're gonna have some work to do. We lost our depth sounder. It's not registering, which is kind of a big deal in the Bahamas. I mean, the charts are charts, but we'll have to get that fixed. Um, and uh, But otherwise, everybody's okay. Lily did not enjoy it. Um, we're gonna head over to have a little uh, adventure recap happy hour at a uh, friend's boat. I threw the... Whew, it was an intense day. Glad we figured out what we do not like to do. That's good. After such a rough crossing, we definitely needed some time to decompress with our buddy boats. In the sailing community, you make fast friends, and we were glad to have shared this experience with such an amazing group of people. our second morning in the Bahamas and we have been waiting out a big couple days of heavy wind. So we got up this morning and it's blowing about 30 knots and it's been blowing about 
this speed for the last, um, I'd say, almost 24 hours. So, luckily we're in this very well protected anchorage at Jinsir Mur, so it's, uh, we're holding fine. No, no big waves to speak of, but the wind has been just ripping for a long time. We're just waiting out. We got another probably 12 hours of this, and then uh, we got to decide what we're going to do. So what we're doing, what we're considering is waiting out and going north the same track we did last year, or staying with our buddy boats and going south uh, to Freeport and then around the south, the southern end of Great Abaco Island, and then maybe make our way up towards uh, Little Harbor and through the into the Abacos that way. Uh, we're gonna make that decision probably this afternoon after I look at the the wind and the weather But it's blowing After spending another evening in Jin Sermer, we realized we were either going to be stuck in the anchorage for another week Or we needed to leave that afternoon for our first overnight sail with a favorable forecast We said some quick goodbyes and headed on our way all right, well, we're just leaving. Uh, we decided that because the, the wind is good and the waves are good in our favor, that we're gonna leave in the evening and try to make it through the cut right now and then do an overnight sail, which will be our first overnight sail. All right, well, let's do this. to get the sunrise watch. So the sun is coming up in front of me. The moon just went down behind me. So kind of a cool way to start the day or end the day or whatever it is right now. Um, it's been great so far, pretty smooth. I am tired. Um, Dan's pumped out downstairs. So hopefully we will get to our destination in the next, I don't know, five hours or so. I like the night sailing. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it, um, but so far I like it. It's uh, it's just different. It's um, hard to, you know, you can't see anything, so it's just a little uh, a little nerve wracking. But it wasn't it wasn't scary at all. It was fine. So yeah, I think it's I think it's a thumbs up from me. But uh, we'll see. The day's not over yet, right? Well, we're, we made it. That was the longest cruise I think we've been on so far. Uh, and uh, it was overnight, and it was a success and an enjoyable experience. Much more enjoyable than our crossing from Florida. Much, much. And uh, we're just about to enter uh, China Harbor to uh, check in and get our cruising permit, and then head over to uh, see the fam. That man, the famine man. Well, we're pulling in and it's, it's desolate. There's nothing here. After a short wait for the customs officer in Cooperstown, we were checked into the Bahamas and ready to get settled in and see our friends. Soon we were on our way to our first real destination in the Bahamas, Manjack Key. Well, we have arrived. Uh, feels good to finally be here after a long a uh, couple weeks, long week of uh, travel through the ICW, across the Gulf Stream, and then across the bank. And to uh, finally lay the anchor, pretty darn good. Lily also went to the beach. Finally got to go to the beach and chase lizard. She, uh, she remembered all the spots right off the bat. That was cool. 
All right, now to socialize. Oh, just got here, came over, first stop, Bert and Karen's boat. Bert, my fishing mentor. <laughs> We're gonna learn a lot of new stuff this year. We just are so happy to be here. And, and our boat mom, our other boat mom. Sailing yep. guru. So when we really need good advice, we call the du Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> and this time it's lobster season. Yeah. I can't wait for my life. Yeah. I can't wait to hold those bastards up by the horns. <laughs> Today, we are going to head over to Green Turtle for the first time. Well, we made it to Green Turtle. Um, the destruction here is a lot more evident than it is on Manjack. It's life. We're in the Bahamas. Well, we're in the middle of the ICW in the oh, motor. Straight. Sorry. Not <laughs> a guess. So something no one tells you about owning a boat. Dark. Let's start over. Excuse me. We ran out of fuel. I'm gonna just start. Not really all. I'm like the sun went away, but we're under a bridge. 